Hi there, today to make the most of our math block, I'm gonna show you what I keep inside my math whole group material organizer so I'm not scrambling looking for cards each day. Inside, I have it labeled with what card is included and the cards are big enough that we can model them and use them during whole group. A lot of the time we use these activities for quick images or our number talks. So let's take a closer look at what's inside. Inside the math whole group materials at the top, I have it labeled with what is included. So I have five frame, 10 frame, tile arrangement, domino arrangement, rec and rec arrangement, hand images, scattered cubes. There are two colors included. Numbers to 10, these I switch out so it's any numerals or numbers and sets to 10. Numbers and sets to 20, making 10, addition, subtraction facts, and shape cards. For five frames, I have these larger cards so it's easy to see for a whole group time. For this, you can either do show the card quickly and students have their five frames in front of them and they build the matching number on their five frame and then hold it so they can double check. Or you can quickly show the image card and do it like a number talks. So you show it and then cover it. How many did you see? And students, when they know, they put their thumb up and you call on them. They saw zero because they know it was an empty five frame. They know it's zero. So these are the five frame cards. Under 10 frame cards, I have the larger image cards so we can model them for whole group. The first way you can show them the card and they could have tens frames in front of them and they build the matching set on their tens frame. And then double check, seven, seven. Or you could do it whole group style with number talks. You wanna quickly show them the arrangement, cover it, how many did you see? They put their thumb up and you can call them, how many did you see? I saw four because the top row one was missing. Or I saw two and two, it's four. And engage in those number talk conversations tile arrangement. I have our larger modeling grid that I put on our magnetic board so we can say how many we saw. We use smaller tile image cards to, on the document camera so everybody can see it. And you'll have your tiles in front of you. So you'll show them the tile quick image card. They want to build it how they see it in front of them. They see two at the bottom two on top of that, and one in the corner, and kind of move it to match. If this is tricky for them to show it in front of them, they can use a blank board to help fill in and help them with that spatial reasoning of where they see the tiles, and then make it match so they can see if it matches the card. Then I have a student come up on our magnetic board and they can either color it if you have dry erase or they can put magnets to match the image card together. For domino arrangements, we do this on quick image. So we have the same thing as our tile. We have a larger one that I put on our magnetic board and then we use the larger counters to fill in for the domino arrangement. Then we have the smaller cards that we show for our whole group activity. I put this on the document camera and students have their card in front of them with our transparent counter chips. Quickly show them the card on the document camera and then take it away. Go ahead, build what you saw. And they wanna use their chips to make it match. Once everyone's filled in their board, I'll go ahead and show this again and they can see if it matches. Clear their board, show them the next image card take it away and they want to build it to match the original. Double check for our domino quick image activity. For our rec and rec arrangement cards, we have the larger cards to show our rec and rec. The first way you can do it is students in front of them can have their mini rec and rec. You show your card, they build the matching arrangement on there. Two at the top, one, two, one at the bottom. How many did you see? Three. Two at the top, one at the bottom. Or you could do this number talks and show them the rec and rec card quickly, hide it. How many did you see? Students will put their thumb up when they know and you can call on them. How many did you see? I saw three, there were three at the top, zero at the bottom. And you can engage in those mathematical conversations about how many they saw and reason how they saw it. Next one is scattered cubes. 
I keep two colors in here, some with orange and some with orange and green. I use those for addition. So for beginning of the year, we're going to stick with the just orange. They'll have their cubes in front of them. I usually let them share with their neighbor, show them the card, they build the matching set. One, two, three. They can see if it matches or they can build it almost in a tense frame, three across, it still matches. One, two, three, one, two, three, it's still three. Show them the next card. They wanna build it in front of them. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, ooh, nine. Three and three, six, seven, eight, nine, or just count from one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And they build it in front of them. Students might build it in the same arrangement or they can build it in a tense frame. Double check, does it match? This you can also do as a number talks. Show them the image card, hide it. They put their thumb up when they know how many. Call in students, how many did you see? I saw one. Quickly show it, hide it. How many did you see? I saw six. I saw three at the top, three on the bottom. And just engage in those meaningful conversations. For numbers and sets to 10, I usually just keep different theme cards in here and we play the same way as before. You can use your cubes, you can use our transparent counters, you can use rec and recs, you can use five frames, you can use tens frames, or you can just do it as a number talk. But you wanna quickly show them how many they're building it in front of them with what, a tool, or they can just verbally tell you how, how many they saw and how they saw it. So for beginning of the school year, I have our back to school theme. As the school year goes on, I'll continue to add numbers and sets to 20, making 10, addition and subtraction facts, and shape cards. These just help have everything available and have what I need for our math whole group materials. I hope this was helpful to you and you're able to set up your own math whole group material organizer in your classroom to make it easy for you to make the most of your math block. I will link below in the description any of the activities and the materials I use today. So check there for any links you need and stay tuned for more videos of making the most of our math block.